The biggest immediate threat from the drought continues to be fire. More and more fires mean more and more blackened earth around New Mexico. We've had plenty of that in recent years, and we wanted to see if any of that land is making a real comeback. When Katie Kim went to find out on special assignment, she learned a lot of once beautiful land may never look the same again. The fire is just everywhere. I'm going to start right here. I'm just really concerned about you guys. You should get out of here. The images are burnt into the minds of many New Mexicans. It's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking for the community. The forest was just lifeless. Everything is gone. Huge fires have rampaged through New Mexico forests. Among them, the Little Bear Fire, which burned thousands of acres and hundreds of homes and buildings near Rio Doso last summer. The same year, the Whitewater Baldy, the state's largest fire ever, scorched more than 300,000 acres in the Gila. And the Las Conchas, which destroyed more than 150,000 acres and forced evacuation of Los Alamos two years ago. Once firefighters put out the flames, so much was wiped out. All that's left is a silent, blackened wasteland. Losing a house is painful and expensive, but houses can be rebuilt pretty easily. Not so with forests. We're planting 2,300 acres. The U.S. Forest Service is replanting more than 450,000 trees in the huge burn scar left by Las Conchas in 2011. It's definitely starting the, the the process over again. By us planting, we're just helping it along a little. A little is about the best humans can do to help a forest recover. The Cerro Grande fire burned thousands of acres and hundreds of homes in Los Alamos 13 years ago. The homes have long been rebuilt, but in the surrounding forests, only small glimpses of recovery are evident. A few trees are about the size of bushes, some average around eight feet. A fully grown ponderosa pine can tower close to 100 feet. Some trees planted to replace those lost in Cerro Grande were destroyed by Las Conchas. Ken Reese of the Forest Service says at best, fully restoring burned out forests takes hundreds of years. The next 10 generations probably will never see what the generation before the fire saw. Some experts believe 10 generations is too optimistic. We're in a grave situation, indeed. Ecologist Dr. Melissa Savage says intense continuing drought coupled with warmer summers will mean more severe forest fires. And when lush ponderosa pine forests burn, she believes even replanting won't bring them back. Replanting has a very, very poor uh, rate of success, usually say around 2 to 3 percent. But if it's a dry period like it is now, we might not even see that. We may see a majority of the ponderosa pine forest in the southwest turn into shrub fields. But forests do eventually recover. Today, a massive aspen grove sits near the Santa Fe Ski Basin, an area that was devastated by two large fires in the 1800s. This was not an aspen forest before those fires. Now it has some of the largest aspen groves in the country. And there's already a similar pattern of aspen sprouting in Las Conchas burn scars. So while burned forests may never look the same, a new normal will emerge. We have to accept that we're going to see some really big changes. You know, the best thing that I can hope for is spring rains, early monsoons, and a, and a strong monsoon. And that'll give these trees the best shot. On special assignment, Katie Kim, KRQE News 13. While there is growing concern, obviously, about this year's fire season, so far New Mexico has had fewer fires and less burned acreage compared to this time last year.